My name is Reed Pretty. I've played indoor volleyball for 16 years professionally, four Olympic Games. People normally recognize me as number eight on the U.S. men's national team. In 2017, I transitioned to beach, and I'm trying to become a beach volleyball player. I think initially transitioning to beach volleyball, you really don't know what you don't know. I tried to just stick with what I was good at indoors, and people had a big problem with it. Oh, you're only hitting, you're not shooting enough, you're not doing this, you're not doing that. And I think what they didn't realize was that I was playing to my strengths until I knew what it was that I needed to, to do and develop. And I think that I haven't even been able to put my own spin on this sport, and I'm excited for that moment. If there was two moments that really stand out as major foundational shifts, the first one was the USA Beach national team coach, Tyler Hildebrand. So he basically studied what are the best defenders doing? And what he reported to us was that they're always moving. So they're constantly in motion, but they're able to read while they're moving. In indoor, it's all about as soon as the guy hits the ball, be stopped. And clearly, you know, that's not what works out on the beach. So as soon as that shift took place and I, I sort of was able to be unlocked to start being like always be in motion, but always reading, my defense changed. I think the other major thing that was, was uh, important was when I partnered up with Theo. I started on the left, he started on the right, and then it became clear that we were gonna switch. And for whatever reason, this time when I went to the right, it just felt like home. Like that was where, you know, the court was open to me. I feel very comfortable whether I'm hitting out of the middle or the right side or, or going back and hitting on the left. And I think what it did was help me to reset as, as a hitter. Instead of having all of these years and grooves of patterns that I would do on the left indoors, it was a complete new palette that I could actually use more of my creativity and vision versus just like, I'm seeing this ball, I've seen this ball a thousand times and I usually do these few things. So I think those two shifts sort of unlocked a, a new part of my game and um, it's been sort of building since.